Hello. Welcome to Jackie's Arts. I am here mixing resin. We decided to do a test pour to make sure that this would come out correctly. So what I'm doing right now is I mixed my part A with my part B. And you mix it one to one ratio. Then you stir and stir and you mix it up and you make sure that it's all stirred up. Gloves, good idea because you can never get this off your skin. Make sure that you're in an open area to where you get a breeze coming through. This one actually doesn't smell as bad as most of the ones I've used. So anyway, this is my one-to-one -one mixture right here. And we're going to do actually a little test pour before I make bracelets and stuff. So first, I'm going to take this. Okay. And should be good because I stirred it up pretty good. You, you want to take your time. You want to make sure that it's all mixed. Just get in there. Okay, so I'm going to suck some up in here. I've never found a way to clean these so I can almost guarantee they're a one use item. But I have a whole bunch so it really doesn't matter. And I just got a bubble in there. Okay, so now take it over here. Let's do this heart. Pour it in there, and you're going to make it till it just bubbles almost to the top. There we go. This one. Now these ones are going to be clear. They're not going to be the colored gems because I didn't put any color in this resin. But I just want to make sure that my mixture is right. And there you go. So that sets up those ones. Now, because I already have this out, and I told my mom on Cinder a video, this is going to be my mom's bracelet. I've already put little blue stars, and I've already put the seashells in here that she wanted. And so now I'm going to put a couple of these blue balls in here. I'm adding them first. They're just little glass beads. So I'm just adding those first, and then once I get it set up the way I want it, I'm going to add my resin. Now, on the bracelets, I don't like it when all of these come to the very top of the resin because then from the front it doesn't look as good. So I'm only going to fill this one up halfway, wait until it cures some, and then put the rest of it in. So again, I'm going to go over here and see if I can suck up some of this. Come on, juice. Okay. And now... And just start pouring it in. Whoops. Make sure you don't move your shells. Or at least try to keep them in one spot. You can always move it over before everything hardens. And always take your time because the thing with these is that You'll get air bubbles, and you want to make sure all your air bubbles are out. You don't want air bubbles in here. So take your time when you're pouring it in your molds. And if my camera's going all over the place, it's my camera guy. He's making sure you have a bird's eye view of everything. Say hi, camera guy. Come on. Up, 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 up. There we go. I really think my mom's going to enjoy this one. Okay, hold on. Okay, now, when I looked over here, and I noticed that as it's filling up, it's starting to lose that top thing. I want it to be level. So what I do is just add, that one's fine, but just add a little bit so that it's going to be a 
nice size jewel. So you just keep a watch on everything. You know, you want to make sure everything gets level. That's why you want to take your time because as this sits, any air bubbles or as the resin goes to go through it, it's going to sink in there. So you want to make sure that you're leveling it. The reason I say that is because that actually happened to this one. It caved in after all the air bubbles went out. And so now I'm just going to fix it. Well, I mean, I'm not going to fix it now, but I will show you actually how to fix that. Still filling this in. You'll see it's starting to come to the top. I just watched an air bubble pop from that side. And even if you go over a little bit, don't worry about it because you can always sand off any imperfections you don't like. And see some of my seashells floated up, so I'm just poking those back down. And if I'm not mistaken, that actually should be almost perfect. So we'll let that sit for a minute. While that's sitting, I'm not going to do all these, but there is one or two that I wanted to do. This one especially. Sometimes you can just pour it in. On these ones, you can just pour it in. You actually don't have to use this, but I'm actually going to. And this is real easy to do. These are going to be really nice pieces. And you can see how it's just coming up here. Now the nice thing about this, I don't have to drill any holes in here because if you notice on my mold, it has those little pieces sticking up like right here and stuff. Whoops. And that causes a hole in the mo in the jewel, so that all you have to do is old add a gold ring, and you got a necklace. I did take my glove off. I don't suggest that. I just didn't like working with it. So off it came. Just keep filling it up till it gets to the top. I think I'm there. <laughs> Okay, make sure that the hole's going to be there. I want my jewel to stay down. And that's it. Now, as I was saying, you can also just pour it into the molds. The one with my seashells and sand here, or my rocks, I'm not going to do because then it would move it in areas I really don't want. So, but this one with the rings, we're going to, ooh. And please be careful because I just stuck my hand in my bracelet. Shoot. Remember, resin is sticky and it's not going to come off your skin. So wear gloves. I made the mistake of taking my gloves off this hand, which I probably shouldn't have. But see, on this one, you can go ahead and use it just like this to fill up the mold because nothing's going to move. Perfect. Let me see if I need to go higher. Yeah, a little bit. I want to go just to you barely see it start to bubble over. So that one's upside down. That's not how I wanted it. We'll do this one here because I got to fix that one. When you put in your jewels, just so you know, when you put in your jewels and stuff, face them the opposite way. The reason for that is like this one I put in wrong. I want to flip it over like that. Okay, so now I should have enough for this one. Okay, give it a minute to level out and go into all my stones. Okay, and go back in. 
Add a little more just to it fills up all whoops along the way. Okay. That wait, is that one covered? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let me check let me check this one again. I want to check the bracelet, make sure that it's level where it needs to be. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, and it looks like everything's going good. Maybe I just a little ring, a little bit more around the ring. And what I wanted to show you on this one that I need to fix. There's two ways that you can do this. You can fill this up here with a ring around okay here we go ring around here okay and then what you do take your bracelet that you want to fix and put it back in the mold and that'll fill that cavity that is up. There we go. All right, so with resin, it does take a little bit longer than like painting or doing it, any of the other stuff I do. The resin takes 24 hours to cure. I still got a little bit left in here, don't want to waste it. So let's see. We'll do this one here. I got overzealous on that, and some of my thoughts went where they shouldn't have, so I'm just move them back. Even if they move, you can go back in here, put them back where you want them. There we go. And let's see, I got enough for one more, so we'll let the cameraman pick the next one. Got room for one more. I will do this one. Oh, so hold up, let everything sink in there. I think I can put a little more right here. Whoa. Stop. Good. Hmm. A little bit more. Yeah, let's do a couple more of these ones. We'll do them clear. If you have patience, you don't need to have that thing. I usually, these little teeny tiny ones, I can guarantee I'm not going to have the patience for those. But these ones, yeah. A drop, a drop. Woo! Okay, and we'll do one of these. Oops, stop. Alright, and that's that. So I hope you like it, and I'll go ahead and show you the picture of what they look like in 24 hours. Thank you. Like and subscribe if you like my channel. Bye.